everyone welcome back and this is Naveen from UEvidence. Uh, in this video we'll see uh, the real-time usage of a callback function okay uh, see here uh, first of all I just uh, comment out everything I don't want this one just comment everything okay fine and um, Yeah, okay, now data. Let's see, yes, still you get the color. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, then fine. Uh, here, uh, what I do is, um, yeah, I'll just take an array. Let's employees is equal to one array. Okay, so this array contains an ID of one and the name is John and uh, the age is 35 okay same like this I have another object which contains an ID 2 and the name is Rajan and the age is 25 okay so I have employees array and here I'll just create two functions one is create employee and one is fetch employee okay uh, let's create employee is equal to you can take an arrow function create employee so what it does is you must have to provide an employee object so it's gonna create a new object uh, I mean it's gonna create I mean it's gonna add this employee to this array okay but I don't want to execute this immediately but I want to wait for some time because uh, generally uh, create employee logic with the uh, database it takes time so I want to just uh, you know replicate the same type of scenario so I just use set timeout so set timeout but set timeout expects a function comma some 2000 milliseconds okay so here what I'm doing is whatever the employee you have passed in the same employee I'm gonna push it to the employees array okay so nothing I'm doing I'm just taking an employee pushing to the existing employee this is called create employee function uh, fine next uh, what I'm doing is let uh, fetch or get employees is equal to so this is another function to get all the employees okay uh, here again um, I want to make a for time some time to execute the get employees from database so I'll make set timeout uh, here I have a function for 1000 so this fetching just taking uh, one second time okay uh, here I can do a consulted log of employees but what I want to do is uh, I won't display this employee data on the page okay so for time being what I do is in HTML I'll make a simple table uh, T head table row so I have TH star 3 tab uh, ID and let's take like this uh, uh, employee ID and let's say employee name and let's say employee age uh, no special uh, uh, styles here. I just make a simple border to okay and uh, T body here I write uh, nothing for T body I write an ID table minus body okay because I have to display some data over here this is refresh yeah here I want to display the data so I have an ID called table body so when you call get employees it will get all the employees loop it and display here so what I do is let's employee uh, rows is equal to empty and let me loop it uh, looping you can use normal for loop or you can use for off loop for in loop and you can use for each function whatever I'm using employees dot for each is a function so this function takes another function with an employee as parameter so I'll just take uh, 
an arrow function uh, this will take each employee okay so what I do is this employee rows if you know for off loop you can use it uh, employee rows is equal plus is equal to I gonna create a table row for each table row so in this table data so I display first the ID so employee dot ID and then uh, name and then age okay employee rows I got it and these employee rows I wanna put it to the uh, the table so I write directly document dot query selector of hash uh, table minus body dot inner html is equal to employee rows okay so whatever the table rows you have constructed that i'm going to put it to the table fine so you have two functions one is create employee and then get employee okay done so till now no output because you're not called any function okay so employees having two um two uh, employees let's uh, let's do one thing create employee I'm just providing an object with an ID third employee I'm creating employee ID 3 comma name uh, let's say Wilson and age 45 okay so I create a new employee because it will take the employee and push it back to the employees array okay so already two is there I'm adding one so create employee of ID name and age after that I'm calling get employees function so I created an employee and then I call employees so now save it let me refresh so let's check what happened you actually suspect uh, you expect that actually uh, three employees because you know already two employees are there it adds new employee and then get employee so get employee has to get three employees but you got only two employees so why see here whenever the javascript trying to call the create employee it is declared that it will take two seconds time okay and immediately it came to get employees it takes one second time so what happened it just executed this one first and after some time it execute push it means before it executes i mean it, it is not created it's, it's not called the create employee first it's create it called get employee first because this is the less time than compared to this so what happened uh, by the time you call this one you got only two employees that is display and later you push it to the employees that is now three but that's not display so here uh, yes, it works perfectly asynchronously and uh, doesn't wait for other it posts works perfectly But thing is sometimes sometimes uh, You have to wait for others to get the response. Okay, sometimes uh, when you call uh, uh, When you when you do a uh, database operations and when you do a uh, server side operations You have to you must have to wait for the result. Okay, and once the result is achieved then you can go for the next level Okay, so for this case, you have to go for a callback. So let's understand where we can apply the callback here. So what is the plan is I want to create employee has to be finished successfully first. Then you have to call get employee. So what you have to do is in this case, you can make a callback. So go to create employee and create employee along with the employee. I'm passing another function called callback so another parameter I'm just making as a callback now I am going to call the callback after the employees has been pushed so whenever uh, employees is pushed here I mean SS operation is completed done then only going to call the callback now uh, I don't want to call it like this I'm going to pass as a parameter to this function not just name only okay so create employee what it does 
it will take an object and the callback so object is pushed and once it is successfully finished it's going to call the callback what is the callback get employees so what is the get employees is going to do this so after employees created is going to call the callback and that's going to display so this is the plan of callback now save it go refresh now you got three employees it means so it this callback has worked successfully so this place we can actually use a callback function so i hope you understand uh, more clearly on callback functions so that's it so thank you so much for joining and uh, in the next video we'll see uh, uh, not a sync awaiter we are going to see the promise concept of javascript okay this also comes in the same category uh, so let's see that concept in the next video so please subscribe to my channel and we'll meet next video thank you mm -hmm.